so we're uh, going on a no cooling call. Uh, they're saying that the uh, the unit is cutting off uh, while it's cooling, and it's um, it said it'll cool for a little while and then cut off, and it's just happen happening intermittently. So uh, I figured this might be a pretty interesting call to to film. Um, it is a newer system, I believe it's a 2018, 17 or 18, something like that. So um, I'm actually in the subdivision now. I'm about to pull in and we'll uh, get started on the video. All right, let's see what's going on with this thing. Sand motor's noisy. Feels like it's going in reverse. Yep, it sure is. <clears throat> this is one you don't see every day, so. Um, motor definitely going in reverse, so there's a few different things that it could be. Um, so let's, let's get this door off and we'll go over uh, which ones it could be and which one it is. Thing you want to do is just uh, check your wiring so you check your uh, <clears throat> fan motor wire see where they're all going I know purple is going to go to your capacitor and then you got orange and black so your orange should tie into the side of tops uh, of the contactor on the shunt side which it is and then the black wire is going to go to the board and then come out of the board and onto the other side of the contactor. So that's for when it's, uh, it's a heat pump, so it's when it goes into defrost. So you always wanna check the schematic, make sure your wires are right because you could have some wires crossed. Someone might have been working on it and can make it go in the wrong direction. So we got our black going to the first prong on the board and then coming off of that one with the other black wire and that's going to go on the pole side of the contactor and then we got our orange going to the shunt side just like it is so the uh the wiring's right on it i've also seen uh fans go in reverse because the the capacitor is bad on the fan side so that's the next thing to check we're going to check that capacitor real quick just one extra step just to make sure something funky isn't going on with uh this relay or the board which it really shouldn't have anything to do with since you got the the one side always powered and that even if this was not working right it wouldn't either come on at all i don't think it would reverse polarity but we'll uh we'll just check it just to be sure so we know that this side is coming straight from our fan so we're just going to remove that wire and stick it straight on the other side of our contactor so now we got it exactly how um, it would be if it was just a regular condenser. You got your orange on one side, black on the other. Orange is always being pow powered because it's the shunt. And then the black is um, being powered when that contactor pulls in, which is in now. So um, we're bypassing that board just to double check. Um, make sure that uh, if it's still running in back, still running uh, reverse. Still going backwards. Okay, I think I'll uh, I'm gonna put these wires back where they went. <clears throat> Now we don't have any question if that board could have been causing something wacky going on. I don't, I've never seen that happen. I don't, like I was saying, I don't even think it's probably possible to make it go in reverse from, with the issue with the board, but just wanted to bypass it just to triple check. Okay, so before we jump straight to it and say there's, uh, the motor's gonna have to be replaced, you're going to want to just try the capacitor just to make sure, even though we, uh, we checked it and it's, 
4.5 and it should be 5. Um, normally wouldn't think that was going to be an issue, but we're going to triple check, make sure there's not a, some type of other issue going on with this capacitor that's making it run in reverse because I've seen this several times and it's usually always the capacitor or it's been wired backwards. So it's, it's, uh, before I jump to conclusions about it being a motor, I really would like to put this capacitor on. So we're just gonna leave this one uh, running the compressor and we're just gonna hook up for the, um, the fan side. All right, so we're just gonna hook up one side with the fan and then use a jumper. I got from one of the turbos we have, uh, go off your common one side and then over there, just like that. So that's running just your fan right now. Let's give it a shot. Hey. I did it. So <clears throat> that goes to show you just uh, checking the, uh, the capacitor isn't enough because um, as you've seen when I checked it, 4.5, um, you would think it was okay and just keep going about your day and replace that motor, but not the case. I am going to recommend the motor anyways because it sounds really loud and uh, it could have uh, it could have some internal damage just from that running uh, for so long the homeowner said that it's been it's been doing this for a long time so there's no telling how long it's been running in reverse like that so I'm gonna recommend that motor anyways but it's a really good uh, really good video for people that doesn't have a ton of experience that um, hopefully you could catch this when you see it and not just order the fan motor and uh, you know be wrong in the end so Definitely a good one. So I'm gonna get them a new capacitor for this. Actually, I'll probably just hook this one up over here somewhere. Make sure you always use straps. All right, so I'm gonna go um, talk to the homeowner, let them know what's going on. Still recommend the motor, but um, the, uh, the new capacitor is definitely gonna fix the, the motor running in reverse. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just check the refrigerant charge. Um, we're gonna we're gonna replace that fan motor uh, and get it ordered and come back out and put that on. Uh, but while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and check the charge and see how it looks. All right, so just checking it, it uh, the head pressure looks a little low. The liquid, uh, temp liquid line temperature is low. The suction line temperature is low. It's not uh, too concerning. It's, it's got a really low load on the inside. Uh, this is typical when it's about 65 in the basement. So um, not really anything to be concerned about right now. All right, so yeah, as you uh, as you've seen, the um, it's it's really cool today. <clears throat> the load in the basement is like in the 60s, so it's it's got a really uh, really low load on it. So it's going to look a little lower than it should. The subcooling was slightly low. The um, the line temps were were a little off, but um, once it warms up, it should be pretty pretty right. So. Uh, as you can hear, that fan motor is super loud, so we're going to get it replaced, and uh, we'll do a follow-up video after we replace it, and then we can uh, check the charge again and see how everything looks. So we'll see you at that uh, next video. Peace.